In the previous video, we have finished implementing the road helper class, so we are able to get the next closest vertex on the next road position. Now I'm going to exit this prefab. So what we are going to do is we are going to create our own custom adjacent graph data structure to store the graph and to be able to print it and to traverse it using the ASTOR algorithm that we, will are, that we will implement in the later video. So for now, let's start from creating a vertex class. So let's go to our scripts, AI, and let's right click create a C -sharp script. Let's call it vertex. Okay, let's open it up. Now in the previous uh, tutorial about creating a simple city builder, I have reused an existing graph from a github repository now we are going to create our own implementation so you can use it freely for your own purposes for now we will need to create a vertex uh, class and the vertex class will only store the reference to our position but we will be able to use it more freely with our graph so we will not rely on vector3 since we will use a dictionary to store those uh, values since we are going to create a dictionary dictionary and we are going to pass a key as vertex and thus we will need to have a way to compare vertex vertices if they are not the same vertex since we don't want to store two the same vertex vertices in our dictionary so we'll need to implement an equitable interface to our vertex that's why we cannot simply use the vector 3 or vector 2 since those are float values and it is very uncertain to, co to compare to float values so that's why we are going to create this vertex class and our graph will be simple a dictionary that will store a vertex and a list of vertex which will be the adjacent vertices to this concrete vertex and we are going to only ask this vertex give us your adjacent vertices and based on that we are going to create our graph and traverse it by finding the adjacent vertices by asking our dictionary so for now the vertex class we will need to delete everything from it since this will be a plain c -sharp class, so we do not want mono behavior, but we will need to implement i equitable interface. So let's type i equitable, and we are going to pass here a vertex. Okay, alt enter on the i equitable, and you should have i equitable using system. Don't worry if you have typed it wrong, alt enter will correct it if you have the option using system, uh, it will correct the typing. So now alt enter again and implement the interface. It will create us equals that will allow us to store the values inside our dictionary and compare them. And if we are adding the same vector twice, vertex twice, we will get an error from the dictionary. So here, what we are going to do is we are going to simply compare to ve vector threes. Since our vertex will have public, actually we can type prop, tab tab, Pub, uh, public vector 3 and this will be the position so we are going to store here the position and to uh, in the equals method we are going to simply return our vector 3 dot square magnitude we are going to calculate a square magnitude between our position minus other since this is the parameter that we have received dot position and we are going to check if this is less than 0. Uh, 0.0001, for example. So this might be a this must be a small value. So we are going to compare the square magnitude, and if the square magnitude is less than this float value, then it means that most certainly this is the same vertex. We are also going to need to have a constructor. So let's type underneath the property CTOR, tab tab. And we are going to pass here a position. Okay, and let's mark the set as private. So we only want to set the position through the constructor. We are going to type in this constructor this dot position equals our position uh, that was passed to the constructor. Great. And the last thing that we will want to have is override to string. So if we want to debug our logic, we can simply return our position, so our vector, to string. So we know exactly when we debug a vertex, we are going to receive the position, so the vector. And last thing that we need to do is add it to our namespace, our simple 
city.ai just to be consistent with our setup so we have our code split and we know that this vertex belongs to our AI class. Great, now that's all we need to do. I'll see you in the next video.